Hello everyone. Let's make some Guyanese style fried bakes or floats with bojow. Okay guys, let's get started with our bojow. Okay, so in this pan over here, I have my garlic flavored olive oil and I have that heating uh, for about five minutes on low heat okay so remember guys it's olive oil so you want to heat it on low heat for about five minutes okay so in this bowl i'm going to start with my codfish or my bacala heater and over here i have all of my other ingredients all right that i will be placing in this bowl so I'm going to start with my codfish. In no particular order, guys. Remember guys to check the description box for all of the measurements and the ingredients. Right. Freshly ground black pepper to taste. So I'm going to give everything a good mix until well combined. Okay, so everything is well mixed, combined. So I'm gonna pour my heated garlic flavored olive oil. Give that a good stir. Guys, like I've said, the flavor is just amazing. The lemon juice, the, it's, um, there's a little heat from the pepper um the time oh my goodness this is amazing you have to try this guys all right so here is my bowl jar and i i really hope you all enjoy this recipe and uh i truly hope that you would give it a try and let me know what you think all right so this i will be serving with a fried bakes guys all right so this is going to be that's going to be another recipe okay so i will show you when i'm all done how you know we put that together all right so let's get start with our flour so the first thing i'm going to do is add my crisco I'm going to mix this in with my hands and you can also use uh, butter or vegetable oil. Please remember to check the description box for all the ingredients and all of the measurements. Okay, so that's all combined. And the next thing I'm going to do is to add my sugar. Then we're going to put the yeast on top of the sugar. The sugar is going to help the yeast to activate and begin this process. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my water slowly and mix to a soft dough not too soft and not too hard you definitely don't want it to be hard and i'm using uh, lukewarm water this also is going to help to activate the yeast Now 
Okay, so this is what you're looking for. See my dough is really soft. And it's not really sticky. Okay. So guys, um, you can also put a little oil on the top of it to prevent it from getting across or you can put a wet paper towel over it also you know just like you're making roti okay so now I'm gonna put this oh I also forgot to mention if you think you put a little too much water that's why you should always have your flour on the side like extra flour on the side okay so i'm gonna cover that with some white paper towels and i'm also gonna cover it with a tea towel okay and i'm gonna let this sit in one place for approximately 50 minutes to an hour okay so i'll see you back then all right so let's get started our dough has been resting for an hour okay so you want to divide the pieces up And while I'm doing this, guys, I have my oil over here heating up. And I'm going to switch. When I'm all done, I'm going to switch my pot with the oil off to this side. Okay. And you can make them as big or as small as you want. I had these done by a close relative and uh, from then we were pretty much sold guys so I decided I had to make them for you so my oil is nice and hot and we are ready to go Put it into the hot oil. And then it's gonna sink to the bottom at first. Then it's gonna rise to the top. This process, guys, is to help prevent the bakes from having that well in the middle. And you just want to cook these until they are nice and golden brown. If you can manage to make two at a time, that's good for you, but it's probably better to do one at a time. I like mine on the light side, so you don't really want it to get any browner than that. It could be a little lighter as well. And take it out the hot oil. Set it in my bowl. Okay, so on to the next. Try to use a big pot when you're making these because, as you can see, they need quite a bit of space. Okay, 
that's it. And guys, you need to be very generous with the oil. You see how that puff up right before your eyes? That is exactly what you need to, what needs to happen. And that's pretty much all done, guys. You just flip it over back and forth a couple of times, a few times until you get it to your desired color. Beautiful. All done. Okay, so I'm going to cut into one of these to let you see what it looks like. There you go, guys. There you go. Okay, that's the texture. All right. I tasted it, guys. It is amazing. It is amazing. your bowl jiao and fried bakes Guyanese style there you go there you go okay everyone I would like to thank you all so much for tuning in and uh, for your continued love and support and uh, I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this, um, these two recipes. I hope that you will leave me your comments and let me know what you think. All right. And uh, be safe. And I will see you again in my next video. God willing. Bye-bye.